Excellent show. Wonderful, beautiful. Mwah. You know, I was really thinking about the conversation that I have in, in the brand between the male and the female, but trying to really dissect it and perfect it. So, you know, the male side talking very directly in a very strong way, with, with you know, with, in a beautiful way, with seeing that in colour, in cut lines, in sort of cotton drills, and in the shoe, the sort of slightly flatter shoe. then also meeting that and marrying that with the femininity and the transparency and the fragility of layering and, and that conversation and sort of subtle prints and the delicacy of that transparent shoe. Really, you know, each piece is, is marrying those two together in a conversation. I'm sort of a huge Stella fan, so I thought she really played to her strength with it being kind of both sporty and feminine. I thought it was beautiful. Yeah, I thought it was great fun. This season, a lot more attention was paid to clothes that are going to be generally uh, commercially exciting rather than a very specific look. That uh, that you're going to recognize on the red carpet when you see 25 celebrities wearing it. There was great kind of orange and green collars. I thought they, they, they were really smart. I liked it. The green, I liked it. It's very uh, parrot green. Stella brings great tailoring, first and foremost. I am the biggest fan of her blazers and her suits. Um, but she also brings um, a certain playfulness. She loves a good jumpsuit, usually in the spring. She had the same very kind of soft pants that we've seen quite a lot of. I love the perforations. I think it's kind of, it's something we've seen quite a lot of. But it's very spring-like and fresh in that white. It was just really about just making it, trying to make it as light as possible, just as easy and light and effortless as possible. So the finishing was very, very light. It just seemed a little more sportswear friendly this time. I think a lot of designers are being a little bit relaxed in their look, kind of things that are comfortable to wear. Uh, keeping in mind that a lot of women aren't just looking to walk around a runway. She has a very woman-friendly um, way of designing. Nothing too done up. Um, she's kind of grounded, but she just keeps getting better.
Well, I mean, it's almost a cliche to say it, but I, mean, I do think she has a very sort of woman-friendly sensibility. And she brings, every designer brings a lot of their own sort of personal baggage to the collection. And her baggage is a working mom. And I think a lot of women who love fashion appreciate that. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming that a lot of people who care about animal rights and don't like wearing fur and leather and all those kinds of things appreciate that she's brought a high-end, very designed sensibility to that world. What she designs is sort of very uh, sort of wearable and with a with a kind of real woman in mind. But I also think she's got quite a lot of ideas about fashion that she tries to push on the runway. There's this pleating that has movement in it, and it, it's very, um, you know, it complements you. It, it's, it becomes yours in a way, and that's what was interesting. It was sort of looking at a fabric that would actually take you on as the wearer, because this is a brand that's very sensitive to women's needs and, and women today.